All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how I make new jazz chords. I'm going to explain a little bit, and uh, I'm also just going to make a beat, show you guys that. And thank you guys to everybody who caught kits during the sale. I'm sending out stickers super soon. I've just been like too lazy to go to the post office and get stamps. But yeah, thank you guys. Let's go. I'm going to go into my twin two bank, which is out now. So if you guys want it, links down below. A bunch of super fire presets. I'm going to grab a key. So I talked about the minor nine chords before, but this time I'm going to break it down a bit better for you guys. So right now the scale that I'm in is C sharp minor. So I'm going to start with C sharp. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count two spaces. So one, two. And now I'm going to do the same thing for a couple more notes. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And now I have a, this is a minor nine. And now for the second chord, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this chord over. I'm just going to move it up one note space. And by the way, this works in every single scale. So if you just start with the root note and then count two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, that's how you get a minor nine chord. Works in every single scale. Could be minor, major, harmonic, whatever. So for this second chord, I don't really have like a set process for it and I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm going to make it a diminished chord. And a diminished chord is basically a chord that has notes outside of the scale. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I don't really have like a, any thought process for it. I just move, usually it's notes in the middle. I just like know by ear. For the next chord, I'm just gonna copy this first chord over. I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna count four down. So one, two, three, four. shot i like this one so i'm gonna go to the one shot here and then i'm gonna put the attack down put the hold up and then just turn down the release and then i'm gonna go to this filter right here this filter mod x and i'm just gonna turn this down and then this is basically like an eq so it's like a filter and what i'm doing here is i'm i think i'm low cutting it i always get confused but i'm going from the high i'm taking out the highs i'm gonna take these chords here i'm gonna copy them paste them in here and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click this and I'm going to change the note color. And I'm going to add a slide note. So when you do it by note color like this, it only slides these notes. So this note sounds better here. So I'm going to take these and move them down. I'm going to take this first part, copy it over. I'm also going to change the note color of this one. So I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to take the slide note and then just slide it like that. I'm going to paste that over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to these first chords and I'm just going to move this note down. send them to the mixer and I'm just gonna take out the lows of this first sound there we go. That sounds way better. and now I'm gonna go back to my bank open to two I'm gonna grab a lead. This one's fire. And this plugin is so sick. Like if you guys don't have it, definitely get it. There's just so much like cool shit you can do with these like XLFOs. But yeah, this bank is super fire. If you guys want it, links down below. Go get that shit. I'm gonna go back into my bank and I'm gonna grab another sound. Grab this floor sound right here and I'm just gonna use it as like a, a fill for this like empty space here. 
these right here and just hold shift and then just click like click like that then we we'll go to the mixer here i'm gonna go to channel three hit shift command l and now i'm gonna just gotta add effects to everything pretty much super simple here. so same thing for this one i'm just gonna add flankers to it and i got some presets for this thing super fire I'm gonna go to my kit and I'm just gonna use some of these mixer presets here. Let's try this one. I'm gonna take all these sounds here, hit shift command, and I'm just gonna select them. I'm just gonna route them right here, right click, route to this channel only. And then I'm gonna grab this master here. Just gonna add that. I'm gonna take some of this delay off. It's a bit too much. drums I'm gonna go to my med kit and grab this like organic one so I'm just gonna follow the root notes so I'm gonna do these two notes like that and just stretch them out, copy it over here, copy it over. And I'm just going to clone it. Uh, I'm going to grab this bass right here. This bass is crazy. And I'm just going to make sure that the cut is the same. This way that the 808s just don't play at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Set it to 5x5. Five five.
Should move that one down. Copy it over. I'm at a slide. Move it over. Make this a slide. I'm gonna make it like slide down. I'm gonna copy it over. And then I'm gonna make it slide back to the back to the first note and some sauce right here is if you take the velocity of the, the note that you're not sliding and put it all the way down and have the velocity of the note that you are sliding all the way up it reverses the 808 that pretty much works with any one shot <laughs>
this little tom right here. Yo, this is a drip. It's just tough. I don't even think it's gonna be this. I wasn't really sure about it earlier, but yo, this shit is bopping. I'm gonna set this tom to the same cut just so it stops, so it doesn't like play at the same time as the other shit. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. This just slide up. I don't want to do too much with the perks, but it's kind of tough. Like, I kind of want to add more, but I don't want to OD on it. I think I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add open hat, and I'm gonna sauce this shit up right here. Make it cut itself, so you can just like stop it whenever you want. I'm gonna slide the open hat. This is like, yo, high IQ play right here. Bro. My fry that can't click. I gotta make that like a quick one. This one up. Just move this down, just like organize this shit. Move to eight. I'm gonna grab another lead. Let's see, let's see what I can do. Let's try to find like a that shit is loud as fuck. Gee, bro. Yo, this one's tough. Right click right here on a pattern, click split by channel. And damn, it's a lot of melodies and shit, but trust it, it's not too much. Just don't get overwhelmed, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you just gotta make them like transition a lot. That's why it like seems like a lot. But you just gotta like constantly kind of like switch it up. Dude, I'd be misclicking so much. It's fucking impossible. Yeah. Command B, command B, command B, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not really sure. Yo, I might just start off it. I think it'd be crazy. Take that out.
go. Make you drop. Make you drop. Should be crazy. Should make a loop. Should take that, paste that over. Now it's gonna make that perk go. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm gonna add some OTT to that loop, master. Let's see if I like deep fry it. It sounds good. That's gonna be tough. Go this first key, I'm gonna add OTT. Keep it like that. I'm gonna export. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want any of my kits, links are down below. Go get that twin two bank. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna add like a bundle. So if you guys want to get my drum kit beta plus the twin two bank, there's gonna be a deal on that. And then when I drop the full drum kit, you guys will get the update. So go get that now. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at proudmaze. Follow underdogs.oo. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.